Olá, sejam bem-vindos a mais um Pen Responde. Ai, não foi ensaiado, edição mais do que especial, porque a gente tá com um outro 2-0. Muito orgulho desse time. Não, porque um tempo atrás dava medo de assistir os jogos e agora não dá mais medo. É muito bom essa sensação. Era do medo, acabou. Era do medo, acabou. Então, Kaká, question for you from Oshimenes. You are playing very well. One of the most versatile players of Brazil. Congratulations. Obrigado. With that said, do you have any personal goal for this year? Like to be recognized as the best jungler from Brazil, for example? Ah, com certeza. É, todo ano eu quero ser o melhor jungler, né? Quero fazer o melhor pro time. E esse ano eu tô tentando melhorar minha performance individual também. Eu acho que por muito tempo eu foquei no macro, no time. Deixei de me cuidar, deixei de evoluir eu mesmo. Eu sei que eu tô com jogadores muito bons, é, muito dependentes, então acho que eu consigo olhar mais pro meu. Dá essa impressão assistindo de fora também, que você tá mais solto e mais confortável. Acho que até na hora de roubar as coisas, né? Porque o Smite tá em dia também. Tá em dia. Uh, question for everyone. Do you think that playing some games with the same composition <coughs> or always the same champions can negatively impact you at the end of the season or it doesn't matter if the other teams still are letting us to play the champions that we are so good we will keep playing it's like that i think because we we practice another things like but we just don't show yet uh -huh. because enemy team are letting us play our champions it kind of sucks a bit i think in, in my opinion that because it's a it's, it's only one game you're not as incentivized to try something new, right? If they leave the OP stuff open, you just pick it and try to win with it. You don't have a reason to risk anything if it's not a best of three, right? Because if you lose the game, you're, you can't do anything else. And it's also very likely that till the end of the season, the meta will change and some champions won't be as broken as they are right now and vice versa. I think it Since this week, they will change a lot. Oh yeah, we have Smolder next week. Mm -hmm. Question for everyone. I think it's more for Titan, but it says for everyone by Dreamy X. Uh, do you guys think that Kalista is not being well executed? The conversation is all about her being a very strong champion, but it looks like the teams can't play her very well. What do you think? I think enemy team, when they play Kalista, even though they win the laning phase, they didn't focus much on Dragon. So this champion, you need to know that she will get weaker uh, soon at the game. So you need to focus on Drake. And the third Drake, you will be more stronger than an enemy so if you stay like on your objectives and start first it's really good do you think Lucian is like this like that that he's very strong early and then he gets weaker no. or this changed right no, it used to be like this, I but think now... he's weaker a little bit at the early game playing against uh, that champion strong but mid game late game is fucking strong. but do you think that's only with Nami Nami and Milion. because of the passive right yeah I think there's a mal entendido assim sobre Kalista tá ligado tipo o time não joga para Kalista, a Kalista joga pro time. E tipo, a Kalista tem que jogar para dar Drake pro time, para normalmente você pega um mid que escala também, porque não adianta você fazer uma pump em volta da Kalista, tipo, dar todo o recurso para ela, porque ela vai ficar mais fraca. Ela não é, ela não é o carry principal, né? Tipo. É, ela é enable, velho. A partir do momento que as pessoas entendem que o que é enable dentro do jogo, elas vão se sair melhor nos trabalhos delas, tá eu acredito. Então, basicamente, estão executando mal. E eu adorei que vocês ganharam do smile de Kalista, porque ele me estompou na solo kill. É muito roubada essa boneca na solo kill. Porque... <risos> Okay, I think this is still very early in the split, but we have a question from Pinky Blueberry. <laughs> How do you rate the team's evolution since the beginning of the split until now? Kuri, mudou legal, hein, velho? Acho que tem Zero to ten, like how much? Seven. Seven. Now we're seven. Me? No, we. We. Yeah. First game we were four, three. <laughs> First game was the game, right? É. Cara, eu tô feliz com essa evolução porque eu sinto que toda semana a gente tá aprendendo alguma coisa e colocando dentro de jogo. Então, tipo, a gente treinou bastante, pegava visão pelo mid, a gente conseguiu executar no CBLOL, então isso é o que mais me deixa feliz. Melhor do que, tipo, uma performance individual ou algo assim. Uhum. Eu gosto quando a gente tá executando algo, alguma coisa em treino e consegue levar pro CBLOL e ganhar por causa disso. Então, eu acho que a nossa evolução tá bem boa e a cada semana a gente tá aprendendo alguma coisa e tá vendo o jogo mais claramente. Because it can be very frustrating when you practice, especially for the coaches, I think. Because you, you practice something the entire week and then it gets there and you do the wrong stuff. It's... Yeah. 
Or make the same mistakes as Same streaming. mistakes Inclusive, sucks. eu dei uma entrevista, né? Aí cara, o cara perguntou do jogo do Fluxo. E, tipo, ele perguntou no sentido, tipo, trollaram contra o Fluxo e contra o Kabum foi clean. Aí eu falei que eu fiquei mais feliz no jogo do Fluxo. Sim. Porque a gente conseguiu executar algumas coisas e voltar no jogo por causa disso do que contra o Kabum. Que na Kabum foi muito draft gap também, tudo bem. Uhum. Aí acho que você até respondeu um pouco sobre isso no Pen Responde passado ou retrasado. Concordo. From an outside perspective, I think it's really comfortable to watch this, this pen game now. Because before I used to be afraid that we were gonna throw the game, but now it's the opposite. Even when we lose the early game, I feel like we can always win. It's really good. Jinkas from La Mechiel. You faced the only import mid laner in CBLOL. How did you feel? Nossa, tem um. E deixou o main open, né? Deixaram o mano. Deixaram o main. Mm, I think he's a good player. Even though he play, uh, we let Azir, we were able to win the game because we are a better team just. And we knew, like, we had a, another points to ban, another strategy, so we didn't need to ban Azir. We were comfortable to play against too, so... But I think he's a good player. We didn't scream much, so I don't have much information about him, you know, so... Mm. But what I saw in the stage, what I saw by, uh, about kid games, he played well, so... I need more time to know about him specifically, but he looks like a good player. I, f I was re-watching the game before coming to here today, and it felt like... Even though he got the triple kill early on, you guys didn't let him free hit yeah. in the team fights. Like he, he couldn't do damage at any time, so it was really <laughs> Titan, you used to say that playing against Pen Gaming was annoying because it felt like playing a 2v3 in bot lane because of Carioca. How do you feel now that you are playing with him? 3v2. <laughs> uh, I felt like surprised at the beginning when we play with each other. Like my style fits with him because I'm so aggressive and we talk a lot when the enemy have no spells, have no cooldowns to fight. So we win a lot of skirmishes like 3v3. I'm always confident because I know that I will get recovery but side if I help him too. So he knows I will be there. Yeah. <laughs> Do you miss Kaka in the top lane wise? Oh, <laughs> time no scene. It's because of the Meta too, you know? Yeah, and you're always winning one you want, so... When I beat him, he always he will be always there. Because you wish by the new friend the me win to his gonna be gonna shoot. Kuri, what do you think about your moment in CB Law? Do you think Titan being crazy helps you? It's not about that how crazy he is. Mm -hmm. He just respects him because he's just good player. Good player, nice. Yeah. And about his moment. He said he didn't show his performance enough mm -hmm. until now, so that's good. If you want to show more, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna show. I'm waiting. <laughs> Pain Vini asks Wiser, can you already understand when they're communicating in Portuguese in game? Ah, uh, in game, yes. I mean, last week in Pain Responde, when we were talking in Portuguese, you were laughing. So people yeah. in chat were like, I think Wiser speaks Portuguese. Now. <laughs> Like, people says that like, they think I don't understand and I don't speak in Portuguese, but like, basic conversations, I can speak in Portuguese and I, I kind of understand the basic conversations and the conversation about the League of Legends, you know? Mm -hmm. but, like, I mm -hmm. hope people don't misunderstand, you know? Yeah, and do you think that helps you in game? Yeah, sure, because like, I can understand what they are talking, you know? Like, Even if it's not about you? Yeah, yeah, because when it's an emergency situation, like, Uh -huh. They need when, when they are doing skirmish on the mid jungle. They talk in Portuguese. Cause... Yeah, but uh, like sometimes I can understand what they are saying and I can oh. read the situations. You know, it's very nice. Question for for Titan. The game against Red is coming. Now that you are more comfortable in stage, do you think you're gonna have your revenge? You think you're gonna scream to Brands next week? We're looking forward to it. Talking about Red Cannon, this is like, for me, it changes nothing. Mm -hmm. It's just my individual, individual performance that I play so badly against them, so I wanted to play better this time. And, uh, and I'm, I'm in a good situation now, like, like we are getting proof. We need to focus on that and just us. Yeah, the way I feel like about this team is that you guys don't really care about who you're playing against, and it's more like improving yourselves as a team, right? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't it's matter if it's of, loud or red or whatever. Because at the beginning of the championship, we need to focus on, on what we can do, like what we can improve, what we need to learn. And then I think in playoffs, we can look to prepare, I guess, specific, specific teams. Yeah, teams. 
Okay, I, I don't like this last question, so I'm gonna ask my own question. Do you guys think this the meta for this week, because we're on a new patch, will be different? Do you guys have any ideas yet? Don't have to say anything specific, but do you think there's gonna be changes somewhere? It feels like I'm gonna chill too much. I saw Smolder has a nice presence yeah, already in the LCS. Yeah, it's gonna be changed specifically bot side because of the new champion for sure. Mm -hmm. And we need to looking forward to practices and not just about this, like we need to learn the patch as a team, so we'll change a lot. Maybe Twisted Fist Top? Muito bem, esse foi o Pen Sport dessa semana. Happy Cody? No. No? <laughs> Why you lie? I'm so happy. <laughs> <risos> Muito obrigado por assistirem. Eu achei que o clima hoje tá bem mais leve. Clima de feriado, de carnaval. A gente grava na terça-feira. Não sei se é feriado, mas eu acho que é. Agora é muito bloquinho. Partiu, né? Que ninguém treina na terça. Muito obrigado pela presença de vocês. Não esqueçam de deixar o like no vídeo, o comentário do que vocês acharam, se inscrever no canal, ativar o sininho, torcer pra gente no final de semana e até semana que vem. Tchau, tchau. tchau. tchau.